If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. But today, we're going to be doing another tier list. Now, guys, why have I been doing tier lists? They're fun. They're enjoyable, and there's something to change it up right now considering there's not much Madden 20 content or anything related to anything Madden out right about now, guys. But today, I'm going to be doing my Madden YouTuber tier list. Now, guys, you've probably seen this around YouTube. Most YouTubers, at least once in their career, have done this thing. I have not. This year, boys, we made the list. We weren't on this list last year, but I guess, I guess we're good enough to make the bottom of this list. But I'm excited to do this, guys. Now, good old me always gets roasted on these lists, but it's okay. I won't be that bad on this one. I won't. I'm gonna be doing a realistic look at this. I'm not gonna be being like, oh yeah, he's just trash. I don't like him because that's not. That's not. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think. Like, let's say, let's say I didn't like RBT or MMG or Mike Mac or Mazematic, any of those guys. And it's not true, by the way. But let's say I didn't like him. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, he's trash. Like they make good content, so regardless of it, I have to have to rank him fairly. But let's get into this, guys. Before we get into the video, though, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys want to make your own YouTuber tier list, send them to me through Twitter, link them to me, and I will definitely do them on video if they are worthy of a video. But let's get into it. So let's start from the top, Anto. Now, in my opinion, guys, I've never really watched too much Anto, but I have heard he's a cool guy. He's always talking to Zerk, and Zerk always relates it to me. Now, I know as far as his channel goes, he's got to be up there in S tier just because of how long he's been around. Like, in my opinion, the forefathers, like, per se, or the guys who've been around for a while, regardless of what they, what, what they currently do, got to be up in S tier because those are just the OGs. Bengal, I actually really do like Bengal's videos. I haven't watched them recently just because as of once I've started doing YouTube more consistently, it's really hard for me to just watch other channels religiously all day after doing videos all day. But in my opinion, Bengal's up there in the eighth tier. You know, with his franchise videos, he's, he's a Giants fan as well, which is pretty cool. Now, D Money, regardless of where he wants to put me, regardless of that, I won't put him in trash. I'll put him in C because had he uploaded more consistently and had he uh, if, you know, actually does it full time, it wouldn't be trash, unlike what I've heard. But CC, CC's got to be an A. Last year when he was at like, I think he was at like 20 to 30k, probably at B, but up to this year, he hit that 100k threshold. He's in A now. Similar content to what, like, I mean, sort of similar to the kind of throw realm that I throw, I dwell in with my channel, but really good content, really entertaining blew up this year chewbacca llama i want to put him in c now he when he used to upload consistently he probably would have been in b but he has really he's really like taken it down a notch and per se ever since quarantine i've noticed now i don't know if there's reasoning behind that or he's just getting tired of it but he did post a lot of content prior to that ck birds i personally don't watch him i've never personally watched ck birds like ever so it's gonna be really hard to rate him so i'm gonna put him up in b just because I heard he's a good guy i know he has a lot of subscribers and he still does this to this day. I just personally don't know him. Cookie Boy, I know he's one of the OGs. I've never really watched him though. There's a few guys on here I haven't watched. Now Cookie Boy, I'm gonna keep up in the A though because I know he's, he's a massive channel and he's done a lot of stuff EA related. So he's definitely up there in terms of that. Now Colin Burger for me, he's an S tier. Colin Burger, he was my guy since I started playing Madden. Like I got into Ultimate Team YouTube like as a viewer with Colin Burger. Half of my friends' memes and jokes and like dialogue at that time was things that he would say. It was always super cool to watch him. Still makes content to this day, which is still cool. And his channel's still growing. We got um, W. As a content creator, I'll probably put W and B. As a Madden player, he's an S, but obviously he's competitive first. So that's his thing there. Eric or other, really good stuff, honestly. Makes great Madden news, very informative, a lot of schemes, a lot of great things in his channel. And. In my opinion, while seeming simplistic on the outside, when you get into those videos, they are super informative. Like, there's a lot of research that goes in. He doesn't just give you basic news. He goes very deep into certain things, even with his, like, his schemes and stuff in, for, in terms of offense and defensive. G. Myers World, I'm going to put him in... I mean, he does similar content to what I kind of do. So I'll put him in I'll put him in a C. I've, I've heard certain things, as well as seen certain things. And sometimes people, you know... I'm not gonna get into this. I don't want to make this like a roast. I've, I've heard a lot of things, so I'm gonna keep it up. Gut Fox, Gut Fox is going an A for me. I really, what the hell just happened? I really do enjoy Gut Fox videos, despite it being simplistic. Again, on the outside, he's very informative, very attentive to what he does, and super funny. 
he has that like for me he's got that like who's that guy like handle burris level of funny where it's just like general and you're just sitting there like yeah that, that was funny as hell it doesn't seem like it at first but it was uh dom dom's an a tier now i think dom might be one madden away from being you know close to s in terms of things he's, he's on that like, pace to just blow the hell out of the water same thing with most of these guys like one madden away from bengal cc most of these guys on this thing here because in my opinion s is like hundreds of thousands of not just a hundred thousand like a few hundred thousand and again i don't watch cricket boy enough to put him there but and that's just that's just my opinion j muffalo that's just messed up I, I guess i have to put him there because that's that was designed for him but that's that's a messed up reading chaos i'll be putting him probably in the b tier he has the quality of an a tier youtuber he has the content of an A-tier YouTuber. He's just blowing up this year as he has recently started, but by next year, he'll be easily in the A-tier. And that goes the same with Maze Matic. He's blew up a lot in this year. I think by next year, he'll probably be in that A-tier just as well. He has, again, same thing. Quality content, quality microphone, quality, ca quality camera. Mike Mac, in my opinion, Mike Mac's in the A-tier. Really cool guy. Communicate with him here and there on Twitter. Always nice in the interactions. And his channel, his channel's always grown. It's always been consistent. He rarely takes much time off, if any. And you know what? He's been around for a while. Great content. He's had that YouTube. He had the Madden YouTuber house at one point. Always been around. MMG. Gotta be nice tier. MMG is funny as hell. He makes great videos. He's super unique, which is, you know, that's that's the selling point of his channel. He's super unique. You know, there's not, there's not many people just like him. So that's kind of what sells him. Now, GS. I'm gonna put him in C. Now, it's only because he really just doesn't upload anymore. But had he been still uploading, probably would have been the, the S tier, quite honestly. He was one of the OGs. But he really just doesn't post anymore. Not the X. We're gonna go in A. I don't watch much of his videos at all. Like I said, I, I found a lot of the, like when I started Madden YouTube, it was mostly for me Cullenberger. I watched Cullenberger. I watched Mike Mac. I watched Xerxes. I watched ooh, uh, Popular Stranger a little bit because I used to do I used to look up content related stuff. So for me, a lot of these guys are you know Toke, of course, Wheels, Victionary. So some of these guys are new to me, like not the expert, but big channel, always growing. One of the top guys. I gotta keep him up there. Popular Stranger. He's a B as well. I believe that he's in that tier of like he's one Madden away from having like a super big channel, and that's when he'll get there. But still makes quality content, consistent. RBT gonna go in the. Ooh. I mean, he could easily be at a million sub by next year. Ugh. Ooh, he's gotta go in the S tier. He he's he's grown super fast. He gets a lot of views. To me, I feel like it's low key to like one second to check and the next second he's, he's, he's up there. I don't even know what happened. But his channel could be at a million subs by next year or in a year and a half or so. So I gotta put him in the S tier. Makes great videos. Very like variety style Madden con like channel, not just like related to one specific thing per se. X Ryan 915. I gotta put him in. Hmm. I gotta put him in. I guess I don't know because he doesn't post anymore like at all. So he's out of the thing. Scomo, very similar to uh, like a CC, a Zerk kind of levels channel. Like, gonna definitely be A tier. Very entertaining. Super, super cool man cave slash setup room, which is oh, I feel like that's such a like a great corner box for his webcam as well. Like I, I always, I always like that when people had really cool backgrounds for their webcam. I feel like it keeps the user entertained. But great content. This close to 100k, so by next year he could be like him, like I said, him, CC, and a few other guys in here could easily be pushing up to the S tier at some point. Uh, Swift, I feel like Swift's gonna be more of a B, because again he has like 55k I think at this point, and he's probably about one Madden away from getting to that 100k point. So at that point you could always move him up. We got TD Barrett right here. TD Barrett gotta be one of the top guys. Great, great content. One of one of one of the OGs, and same goes for TD. Uh, TD presents one of the OGs. Great content great videos and entertaining of always of course and just again variety style you can do some 2k you can do some uh, madden I always, I always like channels that could do everything obviously channels like mine i cannot just do everything i'm not big enough yet but he's at that point texas boy if he can post it consistently and took it you know still took it as seriously as he used to he'd probably be an a i'm gonna put him in b b i mean i used to love text but he was he was in the cullenberger tier for me at one point when when i was first watching madden starting i used to watch him and Cullenberger. Text Boy was doing his pack openings. It was super cool. That was back when Text Boy didn't even have a webcam. I had no idea what he looked like. Director. Now, the director's A. He only has what? 10K subs? Or maybe a little bit of 20K? Sorry if I don't remember. Why is he A tier? Because he has probably, if he posts more consistently, the best, one of the best quality edits. Or, okay, if, okay, let me rephrase. If he wanted to, because I know he can, 
if he wanted to do this consistently, he could probably put, he can make his Madden video games a movie. He has made Twitter-esque movies. He, he can make the coolest card art, coolest thumbnails, just about everything, because he he's, he's the director. So I think he could literally, if he had the time, of course, probably make the most cinematic, most appealing to the eye style content. So that'd be super cool if he ever can get to this as like a full-time thing and he could just do this like all day and you could see what he could unleash, but that'd be super cool. Uh, Throne, Throne's an S tier. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I, I refer to it as a Throne effect. Like anything he posts is just like gold. I've never seen anything like it. Like he posts a video and it just bangs. He could post his left ass cheek and it would bang. Like it's unbelievable at this point. And just his style of content, his uniqueness. He has like an MMG, he, he reminds me kind of like MMG in a more neutral way. MMG is just out there. Throne's like out there in a less less noticeable way, but it's, it's, it's real funny. Everything he does blows up. So you gotta be up there. Toke, of course Toke's S tier. He can do anything. He can do MLB, he can do 2K, he can do, he, I don't know if he has gotten 2K too often or if, if he ever has, but I know he, can, he could do it if he wanted to. He could do Madden. I always feel like if you can do any level, if you can do any game and succeed, you're, you're, on, you're on the list. That you're on the top tier like that's it if you can do anything and succeed um not that they all do but they could victionary is an s tier at this point his channel blew the hell up in this past madden well starting from the past past madden but then this madden as well i think victionary makes great videos i think he has super great edits very good personality in terms of for youtube now for wheels i'm gonna put wheels in Ooh. I'm gonna put wheels in, mm, in B. He could be A, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like he's taking it, taking it a bit lighter this year. I mean, I understand a lot of people have, such as Savage right there. Like a lot of people have taken it a bit lighter than usual. I guess it was just the year and people didn't like it as much. I mean, if, you know, if wheels gets back to grinding out a ton of videos, I mean, he easily would pass 100K and he'd be back in A. Uh, your boy Pizza, I don't really watch him personally, but I know he's got a million or two million subscribers. I know he's one of the top Madden guys. He's just outgrown of my of my little area of the community. So I've never really seen him. Your boy Savage, I actually really did like his videos. I really like your boy Savage videos. I thought they were so entertaining. I used to, he was one of those guys I found when I was first getting, like right before I got into Madden YouTube. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I used to watch him. He was growing fast. And he actually made me a lot better at this game. Because I, I wasn't I wasn't too great two or three years ago. When I, or two years ago when I first started watching him. So I was kind of copying what he did a little bit. I'm putting him in B just because he doesn't he doesn't upload. So I mean, get a B and not upload. That's still pretty impressive. Zerk. Oof. I know what he'd do to me, but I'm not gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put him. I mean, I got. I'm gonna put him in A. Zerk, if you're watching this, you're almost there. You're almost there. If by next year at 250 or 300k, we can we can we can rework. Uh, we can renegotiate that and get you back up there. But for now, you're not you're not among the greats just yet. You're. You're on the edge, and then for me myself, again, I'm not nasty. I'm gonna put myself. I think re I think realistically, realistically, I think I'm a B. As only because well, I believe that by the end of this year I could be like at 60,000 subscribers, and I feel like that's that's a fair B rating for myself. I don't think I'll be an A by the end of this Madden. I think I'm at least another another. I think I'm at least two Madden's away from A. But Madden, Madden, the community Madden is growing. I feel like we got next gen consoles. You never know. Things could go crazy because we got next gen consoles. Exciting. You know, the holidays things could go crazy could but personally for now i do think that i'm gonna be at least be for another year but guys about it for the video i hope this didn't go too long i haven't been able to see the time but i hope you guys enjoyed it this was fun to do i didn't do it you know in a in a real messed up way like some people try to do these i just had fun with it i said what i honestly said my stuff and i think everyone on this list is a good youtuber regardless of where i put them in general because if you're out there grinding every single day then you know you're working and if you have a, if you have if you have people following you, then you succeeded. That's it. But I'm guys. I'm out. Thanks for thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Peace.